I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Hello everyone! On August 13th, 2024, Kim Seok, Jin of BTS officially debuted his latest variety show titled Run Jin with a live broadcast on YouTube. This highly anticipated show will air new episodes every Tuesday on BTS's official YouTube channel, Bangtan. The first episode opened with the idols hike up Hallison Mountain and ended with an exciting preview for the second episode, leaving fans even more eager. The clip at the end of episode 1 immediately caught the attention of ARMEs worldwide. In the preview, Seok Jin is seen entering Pasing High School, his alma mater, wearing a full school uniform and holding a yellow umbrella. This scene instantly reminded fans of a popular K-drama, Asterisk Lovely Runner Asterisk, starring Bayan Woo Seok and Kim Hai Yoon. In that drama, the first meeting between the two main characters, played by Bayan Woo Seok and Kim Hai Yoon, features a yellow umbrella as an important symbol that repeatedly appears throughout the story. ARMEs quickly made the preview clip for the second episode trend on various social media platforms, including X formerly Twitter, with various comments praising the drama reference. One fan wrote, Lovely runner Seok Jin, as a form of appreciation for Jin, who looked charming in the clip. In the first episode of Run Jin, the singer and songwriter, known for the song Epiphany, starts his day by preparing himself for an adventure to climb Hallison Mountain. In the peaceful morning atmosphere, he grabs milk and a chocolate-filled bread from the fridge for breakfast before heading out of his luxurious villa in Jeju. However, just as he was about to begin his journey, Seok Jin faced a technical issue he struggled to stabilize his GoPro camera. This scene added a touch of humor and showcased Seok Jin's natural personality, further entertaining fans. The journey to the summit of South Korea's highest mountain was not only an opportunity to enjoy the beautiful scenery, but also a moment for Seok Jin to interact with the locals. In one memorable moment, he asked a passerby to congratulate him for recently completing his military service five days earlier, on June 12, 2024. After completing his hike, Jin returned to the starting point and proudly displayed his hiking certificate to the camera. He also asked fans to stay tuned for upcoming episodes of Run Jin, which promise exciting and laughter-filled adventures. The preview of the second episode, released at the end of episode 1, shows Jin playing games with students at his school, Pasing High School, in a series of entertaining challenges. The clip features Jin laughing with the students, even though he later loses a tennis match. In one part of the preview, Jin is seen experiencing a mental breakdown after being defeated in a video game, adding to the show's appeal with unexpected and humorous moments. Fans warmly welcomed the preview and expressed their anticipation to see how Jin would interact with the students at his school, as well as the other challenges he might face in future episodes. Run Jin seems to be shaping up to be one of the most anticipated shows by ARMY, with a mix of adventure humor and intriguing pop culture references. On August 13, 2024, the K-pop world was shaken by a case involving Min Yoongi, also known as Suga from BTS, regarding allegations of driving under the influence. This case resurfaced after an anonymous netizen filed a complaint with the Military Manpower Administration, demanding an investigation into Suga's ongoing military service record. The complaint alleged that Suga may have ridden an electric scooter during his military service and took leave that was approved by the Military Manpower Administration. These accusations sparked public speculation, especially after a report from NBC mentioned the use of an electric kickboard, which was later identified as an electric scooter by several Korean media outlets. This sparked outrage from ARMY, the name for BTS fans, who accused the media of distorting the facts for sensationalism. According to a report from Sports Kyung Yang, in the complaint, 
the netizen who filed it wrote that since Suga and his agency, Bigot Music, had previously been involved in controversies related to minimizing and falsifying explanations. These allegations were the result of a sense of privileged class authority claimed by some fans. The petitioner also added that there was a possibility that Suga might not have been able to perform his duties properly the next day and that the service organization might have given him undue leniency. Therefore, they demanded a thorough investigation to uncover the truth. The issue escalated on August 7, 2024, when news of Min Yoongi being charged with driving an electric vehicle under the influence made headlines. According to the Yongsan Police Department, on the night of August 6, around 11 p.m., Suga returned to his home in Hanamdong after dinner and admitted to consuming a glass of beer. He was spotted riding a personal mobility device PMD, later identified as an electric scooter. In an apology letter posted on the Weaver's platform, Suga explained that he was only trying to park the electric scooter in front of his house when he stumbled. Never had a, lot of a police officer patrolling nearby quickly came to assist him and asked Suga to undergo a blood alcohol test back. The test results showed that his blood alcohol level was 0.08%, a figure that raised concerns. The rapper, known for the song Nevermind, apologized to fans and the public for the incident. He admitted his ignorance of traffic regulations related to the use of electric scooters and assured that no one was hurt in the incident. However, a report from Koryabu revealed that his blood alcohol content back was over 0 point to the 7 percent, a figure much higher than previously reported. This sparked reactions from ARMY, who expressed disappointment with the report and claimed that the issue had been exaggerated to damage Suga's reputation. Amid this controversy, on August 7, 2024, the Military Manpower Administration issued an official statement. They confirmed that they would not take any legal action against Suga, citing that as a social worker, Suga is only responsible for actions taken during regular working hours. The administration also stated that no special punishment was necessary since the incident occurred outside of official working hours. Despite this, the case continues to be a hot topic of discussion among the public and the media. BTS's loyal fans, ARMY, continue to support Suga and call for media accountability for what they perceive as unfair reporting. On the other hand, some parties are urging for further transparency from the agency and relevant authorities to ensure that similar incidents do not recur in the future. Suga himself has expressed deep regret for the incident and is committed to being more cautious in his actions in the future. As a member of one of the world's biggest music groups, every step he takes is always under sharp scrutiny, both from the media and his fans. This case serves as a reminder that behind the glamour of the entertainment world, there is a great responsibility that every K-pop idol must bear, both on and off the stage.